So this is telling you what PCSK9 does, and I don't know if there are doctors in this audience, so I want to go over that. The PCSK9 comes in and tells the body that something is happening. Let's downregulate the LDL receptor. So let's remove the LDL receptor from the liver so that more LDL is there in the circulation. Why is it doing that? It's an acute phase reactant. In other words, if you have an infection, PCSK9 goes up, the LDL is there, as we have seen, to fight infections, to modulate inflammation, to do cell repair, and in a time of need, provide energy. But for whatever reason, the people want to use PCSK9 inhibitor to remove the PCSK9, and as the PCSK9 is removed, the LDL receptor is present on the liver and it mops up and takes away all the LDL. So the LDL levels go very low with PCSK9. And with more low LDL number, perhaps all the beneficial effects of what LDL is doing also go away. I refuse to call LDL the bad cholesterol. So what happened in the study? This is the study on PCSK9, 28,000 patients. They dropped the LDL cholesterol to 30 milligrams per deciliter. What happened? There were more deaths in the group that got the PCSK9. I would think that this is what you should say that John Abrahamson said, dying of correct, corrected cholesterol is not a successful outcome. PCSK9 was designed when humans were going through a nutrient-depleted environment. We had unpredictable fasting. It was designed so that you would have the ability to fight infections, that your body can be provided with energy. It also has many other functions that I will not get into. So the big pharma, the food industry, near 100% of cardiologists, the American Heart are telling us, eat a processed vegan diet, take statins, take PCSK9 inhibitors. They want to wipe the LDL and the PCSK9 out of our bodies. Should we do that? And I'm using a nice tagline from Dr. Mercola because he says, take control of your health. Do your own critical thinking. So, when I prescribe a statin, I think that I need to discuss with the patient the risks and benefits. That's informed consent. Because should I view statins as mitochondrial toxins, something that affect memory and cognition, that cause vascular calcification, that cause insulin resistance, that promote oxidative injury, that damage your muscles, that most of the trials that have been done are conflicted by industry interest. So I'm going to use this and the next as my last slide. And I think that as a physician, I have a right to say this. I think that physicians have abdicated their clinical responsibility to their patients. They are looking to key opinion leaders, big pharma, food industry, various medical societies, and they are failing to talk to their patients. They have seized their clinical thinking abilities. So I think we should accept some responsibility that this is right, that we are probably the first or the second leading cause of death in the US and worldwide.